Tonight in Voices, I want to look at our spiritual voice. And so God has called us to have dominion on this earth. He has called us to bring heaven to earth. And so therefore, we as believers need to uh, bring a true picture and voice of heaven to earth. And we need to have dominion in each one of the spheres of influence in our society. Now, I don't want to focus on the society part. I want to focus on where does the message, where does the voice, where does the power and the influence come from? Now, Jesus said, as it is in heaven, so let it be on earth. So that's like our overall picture. Heaven is already a pattern of what we want. And now we need to bring it to earth. When Jesus talked, spoke to his disciples before he ascended, in the beginning of uh, Acts uh, chapter 1, uh, Jesus said to them, You will receive power when you receive the Holy Spirit so that you can be my witnesses. That's Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And so for us to be effective witnesses, we need to have the Holy Spirit of God inside of us. Now, how do we receive the Holy Spirit? The people actually ask Peter on the day when the Holy Spirit was poured out in Acts chapter 2. How can we receive this gift of the Holy Spirit? And then Peter gave this beautiful long sermon and then at the end he says he wants you to repent and he wants you to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and then you can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so when we repent we turn away from um, listening to other voices other than the voice of God, uh, we allow the word of God to reprogram our minds uh, to the extent that our actions change. Repent literally means uh, to renew or to change your mind to the extent that it doesn't only stay up here, but it actually filters through into your daily life, in your existence, in all your actions. And so that is true repentance. It's a change of conduct. And so... Uh, what happened? He said to them, you need to change uh, where you get your information from so that you can change your mind, so that you can start to serve God. You need to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now that word baptized means to be immersed or to become one with or to identify with the person of Jesus. And he says, once you did that, uh, then you can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, when we say uh, we become one of Jesus, what we say? We say, Jesus, we believe in you we attach uh, our faith to your words and in other words we actually attach ourselves to you and because eternity and life is in jesus he says i'm the way the truth and the life and because we then attach ourselves to him uh, that scripture in john 3 16 says you know uh, for he who believes uh, they shall not perish but they shall have eternal life uh, so that belief is to attach yourself. So now Jesus will never perish. That's why you will not perish because you attach yourself to someone that will never perish, uh, but you'll have eternal life. Now eternal life is in Jesus and is flowing out of him. And so when we attach ourselves to him, then eternal life will also start to flow out of us. And that's why Jesus said, out of your innermost being will flow a river of living water when you receive the spirit because you have attached yourself to to him and to the Father and now the Spirit, uh, you, have, you have identified yourself with the Spirit or you're baptized in the Holy Spirit and now the Holy Spirit can flow through you and you can be a witness that um, shows the power of God. So uh, the, the voice that we have and we're talking about each one of us need to have a voice, each one of us need to have an audience that we can influence, that voice that comes out of us, the words uh, the actions, the decisions, all of that has to come from heaven because we have to bring heaven to earth. Now, I want to uh, draw you a picture of how this looks so you can have an understanding. So, now, first of all, we have heaven, and heaven is the, the place where God lives. Uh, that is where the presence of God is. Uh, there's many level, uh, levels and layers. And in heaven, there's realms in heaven. Uh, not, uh, we don't understand heaven that much because uh, very few of us has been in heaven or everywhere in heaven. Uh, I think I have been uh, in heaven quite a few times, especially in the night visions. Uh, when I pray, then the Lord would take me into heaven and I would walk with him in a garden of Eden and I would swim in the river of the Father and he would show me different things. Uh, but my understanding of heaven is still limited. But... 
we need to go into heaven so that we can see the pattern so we can bring heaven to earth just like Moses saw the pattern of the tabernacle or, and Noah saw the pattern uh, of the ark in the same way we need to see the pattern of heaven because just like God God said to Noah, I want you to make this ark. That's that concept, that pattern, it's in heaven. I want you to duplicate it on earth. Um, and in the same way as God showed Moses the tabernacle and said that, that image or that pattern, I want you to duplicate it on earth. In the same way, Jesus said to us now, I want you to duplicate the pattern of heaven on this earth. And so our voice always has to be connected with heaven. So I'm going to write here the kingdom of heaven. So there's the kingdom of heaven. Let me draw a circle uh, to it. And now when we attach ourselves to Jesus, uh, Jesus said, on the way, the truth and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me. So through Jesus, we have access to the Father and the Father is in the kingdom of heaven. And that is that heaven that Jesus wants us to bring to earth. Now, how do, do we connect with him? The Lord is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. And we are also spirit. Now I'm going to, for your spirit, draw a picture of your heart. Okay, so there's your heart. And so you love Jesus. You have confessed Jesus as Lord. And so now there is a connection between the kingdom of heaven and between your heart. And so the, the scripture talks about a river uh, of living water that's flowing out of uh, the throne of God. And so I'm going to just draw kind of like a picture of a river. Uh, and there's my river. And that flows now out of heaven into my heart. Now, once the row of God is in my heart, uh, we can say it another way. My gateway of first love is open because I love uh, Jesus. Jesus is my first. Uh, he's my king. He's my Lord. I serve him. And so now I open up the gate and my heart is connected uh, to his heart. So now in my heart, I need to activate this glory of God that I just received access to. I need to um, activate that glory in my heart to be able to flow uh, to my mind and then to my body and then out of my body into this world so that I can manifest uh, the glory of God or I can uh, manifest heaven uh, onto earth. And so in my heart, uh, there's different attributes that I can activate. Now, uh, we know uh, we don't receive anything from God except through faith. So one of the ways how we access uh, what is in heaven and bring it to earth is through faith. And so in other words, faith is actually a gate for heaven uh, to come to earth. So I'm going to write here uh, the word faith. All right. So now what do we believe in what what do we set our faith in now obviously we set our faith in god the scripture says in hebrews 12 that we keep our eyes focused on jesus uh, because um he is our hope now and so hope is simply a, a, a picture uh, of the future that god has for our lives and so our hope comes from heaven our hope comes from god god has written down all the days of our lives and so our faith is in him and in the hope that he gives us and so hope is also spiritual. So I'm going to write here the word hope. Now, another way how we bring heaven to earth uh, is a very simple thing. And I'm sure you could have guessed it by now. Uh, and that is pray. So you can pray to bring heaven to earth. And so that's a you go and you make your uh, supplication, your thanksgiving, your praise. And you ask the Lord, Lord. Uh, this is my request. Uh, another way how we connect from heaven is we need to receive a strategy uh, from heaven. And so uh, the way we get that is this word re the revelation. And so we got faith, hope, prayer, revelation. Another way how we connect to God is when we pour out our hearts before him in worship. And so we got now faith, hope, prayer, revelation, uh, worship. Uh, and then I got a few more here that I just want to add. And I'm not going to say anything about them. But it's intuition. Intuition. That is a spiritual 
um, activity, your heart has the ability to have intuition, reverence, and the reverence simply mean that I surrender myself to him. And then this last one is the fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord means I will obey his instructions. I will obey the leading of the Holy Spirit. And so our heart can then release even that flow like a river into our hearts through faith, hope, prayer, revelation, worship, intuition, reverence, and fear of the Lord. So let's say for instance, I've received the Holy Spirit inside of my heart and I want to release healing into someone. I'm going to do a prayer. I'm going to have faith in Jesus, in the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit to heal that person. So I'm going to, I'm, and I'm going to do the instruction. That's the fear of the Lord. So the scripture says you will lay your hands on a sick and they will recover. So I'm going to lay my hands on a sick person and I'm going to pray and I'm going to release the healing of God into that person's life. And so now suddenly I became a voice of heaven and I'm bringing heaven to earth. Now, once we have these things activated in our heart, and that is uh, something we grow into and we practice it, uh, you also need to renew your mind. So I'm just going to um, um, draw a picture of a river that flows through this person's mind. So the instructions, the word, the faith, the life, uh, the presence of God flows from heaven through our hearts uh, and then it renews our mind. Now, you cannot renew your mind from the outside in. You renew your mind from the inside out. Uh, James says you are being saved by the implanted word of the God uh, of God. So it's the word that's already been planted inside of you. That word that flows out of you uh, saves your mind. And so therefore, to... Um, uh, speak and confess uh, the word to receive prophetic ministry or to hear God speak and then to proclaim it. Uh, all of that means it flows from the spirit through your mind and that actually saves your mind and renews your mind. So you need to have your mind renew uh, with the glory of God. Now in, the, in this, this brain has the ability to make decisions. So there's reasoning and there's decisions that's being made. So you might see the sixth person and you have compassion in your heart for them, and you have faith, and you're going to hope that God can heal them, and you want to pray, and you have intuition, uh, and, and you have the fear of the Lord in you, but still, your brain can decide, no, uh, I don't want to do it, or uh, I don't think I have time, or I'm not sure if it will work, and it can be a lot of reasoning in your mind. Uh, other thing is you could have pictures in your mind, in your imagination uh, that can tell you well i've tried it before it didn't work and you know all of that reasoning can happen in your mind and that can stop so that's why we need to have our minds renewed now the next part so we got our heart or our spirit we got a soul uh, and now we got our body so for the body i'm just gonna draw this little stick figure uh, and we know that the the attributes of our body is hear see feel touch and taste and so those are the ways how we connect to our, our outside world now if you're going to watch a lot of tv you're going to eat a lot of food it's not going to be able to change your mind uh, it might corrupt it though and it's also not going to help your heart you need to receive um, the life of god from heaven to flow through your spirit through your soul uh, and then the spirit of god flows through your soul through your body uh, and then through your body out into this world and so when jesus says bring heaven uh, to earth uh, that needs to flow through our heart through our soul through our body out of uh, out in this world now when the scripture talks about the glory of god flowing flowing through us it many times talks about the holy spirit and so uh, we understand that it's the spirit of god uh, that is the anointing of god that flows uh, through us and so therefore uh, it's important for us uh, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, but also to activate the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So now what is coming out of this man over here uh, when the Spirit of God is flowing through them? Now we got two. We got the fruit uh, of the Spirit. And the, we have the gifts 
gifts of the Spirit. And so the fruit of the Spirit, you can go and read Galatians chapter uh, 5, verse 22 to 23. Sorry, I didn't write nicely. And then the gifts of the Spirit, you can go and read in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I think you start verse 8. There's about three or four verses there. Uh, probably like verse 11 where you can read about the gift of the Holy Spirit and so uh, in short uh, the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love joy peace kindness goodness faithfulness um, self-control patience I don't know if I got all of them uh, but you can go and read about it and that's just the attributes and the maturity of God that flows through you because you are indwelt by the the um, Holy Spirit uh, and um, heaven is actually being shown through your life. Uh, and then there's the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now it's a little bit like an airplane. You know, airplane's got two wings. Uh, the one wing is the fruit and the other wing is the gifts. Uh, the airplane's not going to fl um, uh, fly with just the, the fruit, but the airplane's also just not going to fly with just the gifts. You need actually both in your life for, uh, for you to be a clear voice of heaven. And so the gifts of the Spirit, uh, there's three groups. The one is the revelation gift, which is the, uh, the gift of knowledge. Uh, the gift of wisdom and the discerning of spirits. Uh, then there's the gift of power uh, and the gifts of power has to do uh, with uh, healings, uh, the gift of miracles and also the gift of faith. And then there's the gift of flow and the gifts of flow is prophecy, tongues and the interpretation of tongues. And so um, it's important for us uh, to, to exercise our gifts so that it can be a flow through our lives uh, and, but also to build the fruit of God in our lives. Now, in our, in our next session, I'm going to get us to, to pray a little bit in tongues and to just get um, all of those um, parts of our heart or our spirit activated uh, and we're going to pray uh, in tongues. So, uh, I hope this kind of gives you a picture uh, of how um, the flow from heaven works. I want to encourage you, please write for me in the comment section, what do you think about this di diagram and if this helped you a little bit to un understand the flow from the kingdom of heaven uh, to earth a little bit better. God bless you.